Destiny here and we have another exciting fashion show. Today we are getting ready for Cars and Couture. As you know, this is the calm before the storm. We have all of our lovely Titanettes here, prepping, getting ready. You think they look good now, but just wait till you see them on the runway later, okay? Um, stay tuned. We have tons of great behind the scenes footage for you guys. I am so excited to bring this collection on the runway and I cannot wait to see you there. We are going to do our rehearsal at the museum. Everybody's bringing their heels. We're gonna look so adorable in our little cute outfits at the museum and make sure nobody falls because falling on the runway is not a cute look, just so you know. What's up guys, we're here at the rehearsal. That's right, so it's a little bit of behind the scenes so you guys get to see it. So we're not all dressed up to the nines right now, but we are about to see how we're gonna walk to present to everybody in the fashions that's going on. And uh, that's it. I mean, we've got beautiful, beautiful scenery in the background of Tampa. We've got the Winter Village, all this great stuff happening. And then this beautiful art museum behind us which is going to be like, you know, the main point of going inside, having a VIP dinner too as well. So a lot of different things going on in this. I'm really, really liking it. I can't wait to see how this all goes down tonight. So come along. I think you're going to like it too. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming quick. The Cars and Couture Fashion Show, tight medical center style. Titan Takeover is going to be full in effect. These ladies and gentlemen are looking fabulous on all levels. So wait till you guys see them walk the runway, but here's your little sneak peek of how good these ladies and gentlemen look. So uh, if you aren't here, you're definitely going to be missing out on it, but don't worry. You guys can just keep watching the video over and over again to see all the cool fashions and all the beautiful people rocking it. So come along with us and finish up Cars and Couture 2023.
everyone. Thank you guys for coming out to Chorus and Couture 2023. This beautiful night here in Tampa, Florida for a great cause, Autism Speaks. Man, I'll tell you what, we've been doing this for years now and it just keeps getting better and better. And you know what? All these people out here in the audience and all these models make this thing happen. Big shout out to Donna Crowley, Lux Fashion Group, and everybody that put this thing together. And everybody that comes out and supports this event. We really appreciate you guys. All the models and all the designers for all their hard work. Thank you guys very much. Spectacular all the way through and through. So I'm highly impressed and thank you guys again for coming out and enjoying this awesome event with us. Hey everybody, I am Cherise, John's wonderful wife. <laughs> but I, for those of you, because I feel like a lot of people do not know what Titan Medical Center does. So I want to make sure that everybody out there does know what we do. We do hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, anti-aging, national blood work. We do everything that's going to make you look better, feel better, and perform better. So if you want to better yourself, just call or text us. 727-389-3220, visit us, TitanMedicalCenter.com, or on your way out, right by the Corvette, because I know everybody saw the Z06, would on your way out, stop by and get a t-shirt. <laughs> Thank you guys again. What's up everyone? I'm John, this is my beautiful wife Sharice. Hey everybody. We want to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate this year. Make sure you guys are celebrating happy, healthy. If you guys are looking to feel your best, look your best, or outperform anything you've ever done before, you need to call our text Titan Medical Center. 727-389-3220 and tell them the Titan Santa Claus sent you. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. And that's right, it's Christmas edition. Christmas? Or holiday edition. Happy it's... holidays, Christmas edition. Well, for me, it's Christmas. Whatever you celebrate, it's yeah. your edition for the holidays. Merry, 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 merry day. Merry, merry holiday to you. <laughs> 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 so, listen, we're back with another great episode, and if you guys are just tuning in for the first time, we are doing things for you guys to help you guys out with your relationship, give you guys good tips, tricks, and things that will help improve your life and quality of your relationship, hopefully. Yep. And these are things that me and Sharice have picked up over the years, or we've seen or picked up from some of our friends or in other relationships that we've seen, and we said, you know what, this is some information we're going to learn from, and hopefully pass this on to other people that and don't want to make do these it mistakes. Ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Definitely don't want to do that, but uh, you know, it's it's Christmas, so you know we're about a week away from actual Christmas, so we want to make this Christmas edition because if we waited till next week, it'd be over Christmas. So at that point, we want to talk to you about all these good things that come with Christmas or the holidays. Now, last week I think we talked about getting in the Christmas or holiday spirit. You know, this time we're going to talk about actual Christmas, and you still got a couple more days, right? So some of the first things is is really how to get gifts for your loved one, right? Or potentially loved one, maybe you're dating somebody or whatever it is. Yeah. Where do you go, where do you get them, what's right? What do you think they're gonna like? And what's, you know, what's in boundary and out of bounds, basically? Well, you know what's actually funny, like super funny, is that me and John have gotten to a point in our relationship where we, it's, a, it's so weird, we don't like buy Christmas gifts for each other, right? Because A, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't like gifts. Like, no, I, wait, hold on, let me, re, let me rephrase that. I really like gifts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> let me rephrase that before it bounces back on me here in the near future. Um, I like gifts, but I don't like surprises, right? Because Listen, I, I, this is going to sound terrible, but at least I'm, I'm being honest, right? You guys like the honesty? Well, here it is. <laughs> so, you know, 
I, here's the thing. John goes out, right? He goes and he wants to get me this beautiful earring set or this beautiful ring or this beautiful, you know, uh, necklace, whatever it might be. Knowing he probably knows my style to some degree or whatever it might be, right? But if I had some input on like, let's just say he had four of them in front of him, right? And let's just say John picked the second best one that I would have probably maybe picked another one, but I obviously still like the one that he picked. And then I would have wanted what I wanted, you know? I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. So we've at least gotten to that plateau <laughs> in our relationship where like we get to go out and we'll just be like, pick out something you like and be like, you pick that, you pick that. We'll turn around and be like, hey, that's going to be a Christmas gift, okay? And then, by the way, it's also your anniversary gift because our anniversary is in January. <laughs> He's like, hey, listen. He's like, I want to make sure you understand that that's also your anniversary gift. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So on Christmas, it's kind of weird because, like, we don't, op- we don't open gifts from each other, but it's, like, normal at this point. You know, yeah. like, if I had a gift from him, I'd be like, what, did you, I mean, what would you even bother? Like, what would you even bother getting? Like, yeah. we- it just gotten to that point, but it's way easier to shop for your significant other when you guys are first dating. And the best thing to do is to listen to what they like. This is true. What they like to this do, right? Don't go off and go buy and stuff and then think you're going to create some new, you know, uh, trend for them right. or something hobby or, or hobby like. or like yeah. go by what they actually like, right? Because it's a present. So yeah. you want to give them something that they, they want, they want to use or they want to wear or they would like to wear. If you're not even sure, you always go back to the cool things that like you can get at what is that what's that one place that has like all the massage things and like things you sharper can, image yeah like that a cool place like that they always have something cool literally always have something they cool. do they there's do not cool one stuff. time i go in there it's like wow i would get this for john just to get it for john because he would like it you know just but anybody would like a gift from there 100 percent. yeah i mean yeah i think you definitely need to listen to your partner listen to their likes you know Maybe what they needed throughout the year, or something like that. Socks, you know? underwear. Well, I mean, you know, save that for yeah, your anniversary. Yeah, <laughs> save save the socks and underwear for later on in life. I'm sure you're gonna you've gotten plenty of those as a kid from your grandparents, um, or as you get older, people pajamas, are gonna get you this stuff, puzzles, right? Like, and you might like it a lot more than when you liked it a kid, because as a kid you wanted toys. But you know, as you get older, your priorities kind of change and your likes kind of change. Like, I I'd probably get excited if I got like you know like a new blender or something like that. It's just, it's just something crazy, like on the head. Like you know, I wouldn't want it before as a kid, but you know, yeah, listen to them, you know, li- listen to what their wants or needs are. Like, like I just said, so like if they want to get a healthier diet the next year, you know, maybe get them a machine that helps them do that. Get like a, an air fryer or get them a blender or something like that and say, hey, listen, now you can start making your own smoothies or whatever it is, right? Um, or they might want to, to pick up a new hobby and you kind of get them whatever that thing is like you know or maybe even like buy them a day at the spa that's always a good present right you go to the spa and you get a full day at the spa you get treated like a queen i know my dad used to give me that gift all the time but it's a good gift honestly it's good to your significant other you know just hey there's a whole day at the spa prepaid services go enjoy the day and relax and chill out and you know come back in a happy mood yeah i think i think the big thing is is just having the meaning behind it having a good meaning behind it yeah um guys just just a word of (laughs) advice okay do not get them a gift card okay anybody can go to walgreens or cvs or Publix and get a gift card for Outback, okay? Yeah. Nobody wants a gift card because there is really no meaning behind it unless there's like something really cool that happened at that place yeah. and you're just like, hey, ha, ha, it's a joke kind of thing. Yeah. But not like, hey, you didn't put any thought process in, I just picked it up yesterday and threw it in a card. <laughs> It's real simple easy to do. <laughs> real simple, real easy. But it might not have a lot of meaning. No either. meaning. You, know? and you definitely want to get this like through the years, especially if you stay together. Those things that you bought through the years, and you'll have even more meaning and significance probably to your partner that you're wearing or utilizing or whatever it may be. You know, and if you don't like it, don't tell them you don't like it. I guess you just make see. that face like. Mm. Yeah, and that kind Go of like sucks. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do that. You know, but you know, you should be grateful that you're getting anything from your partner. Sure. Um, I think that's the biggest thing, and being grateful just for them being with you. You know, I, I think that's that's the other thing that you know a lot of people they just overlook. You know, that's that's the whole point of being together. The gift portion, I, I think, is is good to a certain extent, but it's, it's not overrated. everything. It's, it's not overrated. everything, right? It's overrated. And I think as we get older we understand that more a lot of people understand that more yeah. some people still want the gifts i mean honestly to be honest with you just don't take this for what it is but i mean i really could probably go like a christmas without a gift just because i feel like i get gifts 
all year, right? So like I, I, I get whatever I need or want. or So it's kind of in that point where I'm just like, it's just another day. And it's honestly, this day is dedicated to our little one, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I just want to see him smile. I want to see our parents smile. Yeah. You know, I just want everybody else to be happy and just we're good, you know? Yeah. I'll, if you do it like that, just make sure you got, you're going to have to put on like a Santa outfit or something, a hat, at least a hat, you know, if you're tired. And, you know, do something in the bedroom for your husband, <laughs> you know? I mean, you don't have to go all out. If you're really exhausted from Christmas and cooked all day or whatever it is you want to come up with, you know, put on some boots and put on a little hat and be like, hey, let's do this. That's right. Miss Claus, I'll take it to town. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, that's just one portion is the gift portion. The other thing is creating those traditions um, with your family or loved one or whoever it is. You know, starting traditions early. You having Christmas together, you guys maybe waking up in the morning, going down by the tree, and you guys are going to open gifts together or it's, with the family. That's our tradition uh, every know, year. That's, you know, that, that's the, you know, to me, I think that's the American dream tradition, right? Family members wake up, or I know when I was a kid, I wanted to get up really early on that day, wake my parents up so I could go downstairs and open gifts. Wake up! Right? I know you wrapped these last night! <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I mean, that's the other thing, like creating those traditions, maybe creating, you know, favorite dishes that you guys eat together and stuff like that, um, you know, and doing like Christmassy stuff. Like I said, like last week, you know, getting the spirit of Christmas, you know, doing this and following through on Christmas Day, um, especially if you have little ones, you know, you're, you're molding these memories right now. So it's really important that you mold those good memories in your kid because they're going to remember this the rest of their lives. Um, or, you know, to a certain extent, you know, as they get older, they're really going to remember everything that went on during Christmas. So, you know, definitely want to create those traditions, create a good Christmas, good memories. You know, at that point, the other thing is, is take pictures or video. I know you, it's almost like you forget sometimes. Remember back in the day where you can actually like print the photos? I mean, yeah, listen, it's right? good to be, it's good to be in the moment, right? Cause I, I firmly believe this. Like I want to experience the moment <laughs> without having a, a phone in my hand or a camera in my hand. Cause I've done that for a long time every year. But you know what? I don't want to miss out on the memories either. Something that I can look back on five, ten years later and be like, man, this is so cool. You know, I'm going to share with you guys, right? Because this, this is a great, I'm going to just give you a great example, okay? So this is where you capture things that you may, like the surprises, things that happen, like right on the moment that you, if you didn't have that up or you didn't have the video camera, whatever it was, you wouldn't have captured it, right? So long time ago, this one Christmas, bu -bu 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 -bu, fast forward, um, we bought Peter a little uh, trike, d d uh, like, thingy. Four-wheeler like, four like, thingy. Like okay? a kid one, right? And I was, I was so excited for him to be excited, right? This is the funniest video. In fact, I, oh if I'll God. find it, I'll post it at the end of this show so you guys can see it because it's so funny. So anyways, um, we're, we're opening the presents, whatever he gets on the thing. You know, he's like, oh my God, this thing's so excited. This is all on video. Thank goodness we captured it. Right? So I'm the one doing the video. And you know, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. He's so excited. He puts on his little helmet and he's like, he gets on top of it like this. And this is in the garage. The garage door is closed. And we have our Hummer at the time that's inside of the garage, right? <sighs> and this little tricycle, four wheeler yeah. thingy, whatever, is facing the Hummer. Okay? Just let me put this out there. So he gets on it, vroom, vroom, vroom. And he's like, vroom, like, you know, pretending. Vroom, vroom. And then all of a sudden he actually did it and it was on. I don't know. <laughs> But literally, he just went full force right into the Hummer, just about the Hummer, and John literally grabbed him right before he hit the Hummer, like smash crash, and um, just barely yanked him back, and I, yeah. I don't think he actually hit it, right? No, I, I got in front of it. My, my <laughs> light was in the, my flash in front of my eyes, and I see this thing. I'm like, oh my God, I had to react so quick to even stop this thing. And it's got power. It wasn't like a weak little <laughs> it was thing. So funny. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, it's so lucky that it happened. It was really, really funny. Definitely got the video. I posted on Facebook. So <laughs> I'll have to definitely look it up. But I'll look it up. That, that's just something like, you know, but we it's can a memory, laugh at, right? right? And we look back on it. It's on video. Yeah. I'm going to just, let's see. Let's see if there's any. Hey, look. You want to see if there's anything else maybe you could use that, hel that helmet for? Why, why don't you go in the garage real quick? Yeah, let's see. Is there anything in the, in the garage? Maybe on the bike. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look how cool that is. That's a four wheeler. You like that, Peter? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> 
these are things. So capture those memories, man, for, for the oncoming years to go. Especially if you've got family. These things are, you know, they're priceless. I promise you. Especially when you start looking back when they get older. Yeah. But um, these are just some of the different things that will hopefully make your Christmas or happy holidays even better. So at that point, guys, have a Merry Christmas. Um, we hope you have a happy Merry Christmas and a happy New Year or happy holidays, whatever it is. Uh, we're going to be here with you guys next week too as well and every other Sunday in 2022. So guys, keep it locked to ABC, 11 a.m. every Sunday. If you guys missed this, make sure you DVR it next time. If not, check out YouTube, just type Medical Center and all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. You guys just look up Titan Medical Center. You guys will see our smiling faces and a lot, lot more. <laughs> Plus, all the great things that we can do to help you guys feel better, look better, and perform better daily. So that's it, guys. Christmas edition is over. We'll see you next week to talk about New Year's. Ooh. Later, guys. Bye.